Good morning. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here of the Earthquake Forecast Center. QuakePrediction.com. It's 7.42 in the morning on Sunday, September 25th. 7.42 in the morning on Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Let's go to the forecast maps. All right. Originally, we had forecasted our first warning for San Francisco produced a 4.3 earthquake just north of the San Francisco Bay. It was felt all across San Francisco Bay. Uh, the second warning, which was just uh, here recently through the uh, 25th, produced a 4.8 in Northwest California. And our warning is extended from there down to the San Francisco Bay. However, it's not over. The, uh, the data keeps pointing toward the area near uh, Palo Alto and the San Francisco Bay. So uh, this is the warning map even for today through the 25th. We have that huge area of uh, very high risk right there in the San Francisco Bay. And this one, this one here also is pointing, pointing to the same area uh, near Palo Alto, west of San Jose in the San Francisco Bay as well. So these both are saying the same through the 25th and the new data just came in and it's still pointing to a very large area of high risk uh, in the San Francisco Bay through the 28th. And here's the other forecast model also pointing through the 28th in the same area. So this, uh, the 26th through the 28th should be the period of uh, uh, aftershocks because I think it's gonna hit today and then we'll get some aftershocks in these. And that's what these forecast maps are pointing to right here is aftershocks. Because this is the highest risk right now through the 25th. So the current warning now is uh, a 7.0 earthquake is possible in the San Francisco Bay from uh, today, the 25th through the 28th. And most likely to hit sooner than later because this risk uh, on these other forecast maps is calling for through the 25th. And uh, so the 7.0 earthquake is possible. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay the 25th through the 28th. And like I said, most likely to hit today on the 25th and the aftershocks continuing through the 26th to the 28th. So look for a very strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. And then aftershocks after that. And please uh, warn your friends and family, this is not over even after that uh, 4.8 that we got in Northwest California. The risk is still extremely high in the San Francisco Bay. It has not released the energy there. It released some of the energy up in Northwest California, but that is not where the highest risk is. And that is shown through these other forecast maps here that the risk is in the San Francisco Bay. So uh, there you go. Go to quakeprediction.com and check out these forecast maps. Once again, looking for a 7.0 earthquake as possible. 6.0 earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay today, the uh, 25th through the 28th, most likely to hit today on the 25th. Please warn your friends and family, this is a serious situation in the San Francisco Bay. Usually you don't get the, when the forecast models agree, the, uh, in this case, the purple and the red forecast maps you see over quakeprediction.com, those two are the best forecast models, and they're both agreeing on a very strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next 24 to 48 hours. So please warn your friends and family, and we will keep you updated. Again, that 4.8 that hit is not uh, the quake that we were, well, it's kind of a foreshock in a way, but we're still looking for a much stronger earthquake in the San Francisco Bay. Thank you so much, and have a great day.